Howdy, howdy. Today was another one of those times that uh, I started into doing something and thought, you know what, that would have made a really great video. So I, I got about halfway through and then I thought, you know, I'm just going to start over, get everything put up, regardless of how much extra time it takes, and uh, make a video for you. Because, hey, this isn't a fan. So maybe, uh, maybe you can learn a little bit more. So, it's still an electric motor though, so we're still dealing with the electric motors, just a little differently. So, we've had this thing for like nine years, and this thing has been a beast. I mean, it is an, an incredible machine, it really is. Just one of those little cheap ninja food processing machines, and uh, we got it, I think it was like 20 bucks. I, I think it was on sale at Walmart when we got it, and... Uh, I've used the heck out of it. It's always done a good job. It's starting to get a little noisy though. And to be really honest, I think the noise that I'm hearing could very well be coming from there. The plastic up against the little uh, metal post in the center. But I'm not positive. And there's nothing wrong with pulling it down and just making sure that everything's lubricated good. This is a really good maintenance lesson that, uh, that I can show you. Um, this here is going to have the security bits in it. It's the uh, kind that's got the, it's the Torx with the little post in the middle. And I've got just the ticket right here out of my little iFixit set. Uh, I'll see if I can get you guys a link to this set. If I can get you guys a link to the set, I'll, I will uh, put the link to the set in there. It's got all kinds of goodies in it when it comes to the uh, security bits. So, anywho, this certainly has the security bits there. Let me go ahead and... Um, like I said, I had it halfway tore down, so a lot of the screws aren't going to be super snug or anything because I just threw it back together so I could make a video for you. And uh, so, get it pulled apart here. And I'll show you these screws here in a second. Let me get this one out. Okay. So, I'll try to hold it up on the camera there good. If it'll focus. And uh, you'll be able to see the little post in there in the center of the Torx. So that's a security bit. Fun, fun. So, let's set this over here. Flip it upside down. And uh, those are the only security ones that I've, that I've ran across. So, um, the other one's going to be a Phillips here. And I went ahead and brought my other Phillips screwdrivers. Because there's a couple that I want to make sure that I get really good and snug. Not a couple, like four. <laughs> I want to make sure that I get really good and snug. Now for these here, going into plastic, uh, you got to be careful with that so you don't, so you don't strip anything out. But I'm just going to set those off to the side. And when I put those back in, anything that goes in plastic, I will use my small screwdriver for. But there's namely four screws that I want to use uh, a regular uh, screwdriver for because I want to make sure I can snug them up really good. Like I said, I've had this tore down uh, mostly. I'd say a little better than halfway, but not quite, uh, not quite three fourths of the way. Oops. Let me go ahead and put that back on that little washer back on that screw so I know what's on there when it goes back together and then that comes loose here obviously there's a little rubber seal there we're just going to go ahead and put that rubber seal back in place maybe 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 wanting to uh, be a challenge Oh, maybe it's not a challenge. <laughs> I was making it more of a challenge than it should have been. So, okay, we've got that squared away. Now, we're going to have some screws going around the outside of there. Go ahead and, ah, if I can get it in there. And we're going to need to use two different kind, kinds of lubricant on this. And I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you what you want to use where. As you can tell, there's two different lubricants on the table in front of you. And if anybody's at, wondering or asking, what are the rivets for? You're going to find that out soon enough. 
little bit of an interesting trick of the trade. So, and I done made it sure that there were spots for me to use those rivets. And there certainly is. There usually is. And I'll show you when we get there. I'll quit teasing you on it. Okay. So, I believe that is called a planetary gear system. And if I'm incorrect, somebody corrected me. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's a planetary gear system. So, these are the screws that are going to be a little bit tighter here. The ones right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab my bigger screwdriver. Ah. Well, I may have to go and get a bigger screwdriver yet. That one's coming. I gotten one of them out with just that uh, little I fix it deal, that micro set there. I've got my screwdrivers, my big set setting right down there, so it's not a big deal. Oops, that sometimes happens, especially if you uh, if you start with the wrong size screwdriver. All it takes is one excited twist to start the stripping process. Then it's all history from there. Okay, that one came loose. That other one may have came loose. And I may not have realized it. If it did, it felt awful sloppy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this one's getting it. Yeah, that sucker, I think it was cross-threaded when they put it together. Because that came out way harder than it should have. But I'm going to set that up here so that way I remember on that particular one. So, and I'm not going to take the wires all loose or anything like that. Not necessary. I was going to try to get, yeah. Just try to get it out of there. So I'm a little more free to work. And so what we're going to have here is we're going to have two screws. One there, one there. And that is what holds the motor together. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab our screwdriver here. Pop that one loose. I'm going to go ahead and pop the other one loose. Pop that one loose. I just wanted to make sure that we could do that without issue. And put that over there. Gonna do the same with this one here. There we go. And I'm gonna pull out. That is called an armature. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. And I don't know if we'll be able to get that gear off, but we're gonna do what we can to get some grease up in it. That, uh, that gear is probably pressed on, I would say. I don't think it just sets in place. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be pressed on. And, It doesn't appear that I'm able to get that bearing out very easily. So um, what we're going to do, I'm going to just do what I can about getting some up in there. Um, there's some washers there. And so as long as I get some grease up into there, in between the two, it'll work into place. It'll be no sweat. So um, I don't think... Because it's a uh, little, there's a, there's a more or less a keeper here, but it's riveted in place. 
so there is going to be no getting that out or I can actually go in this way too I'm, I would rather go this way because we're going to have a different type of grease or different type of lubricant I should say on the other side so this is a spacer that was up top here that went in between the the top bush or the well bushing bearing whatever you want to call it and um and the uh Ah, dang it, I'm getting names messed up. I'm not going to say because I, eh, it's been too long. Anyway, I'm talking about your contacts here that the brush is right on. <sighs> I thought this entire thing was called the armature. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think maybe that's the armature and this entire thing's called the stator, possibly. I'm drawing a really big brain fart at the moment. And then this here, and it fell, it just fell out. That will go in between this. And what that is, is it, it just holds, it's, that's actually a little spring there. And what it does is it just holds that motor just a little bit away from the very, very end end. So, it goes. Ah, get on there. Goes like that. And then, there's going to be another one up here, All right? Small one here, and it's going to go on top, like that, like that, like that. And then that's your bearing right there. Well, technically a bushing, because bearings would have, um, bearings would have balls in it, like little balls or, or needles. I don't think that does. I could be wrong. I don't think it does. Don't think it does. So, and it's the same way it's pressed. So, okay, let's uh, get that pried up. Yeah. I think that's a bushing. I really don't feel anything in there. So, let me uh, go ahead and we're going to use, this is uh, axle or wheel bearing grease for a car. And that's what we're going to use on the motor itself because it's high temperature, technically high pressure, high speed, you know, the whole nine yards. It's going to cover all the bases that we need when it comes to a lubricant involving this motor. Now, and I'm, I'm getting some there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these brushes out of the way and I'm going to try to get some up inside of that. There's there's little holes in there. And I'm going to try to pack some in there and yes I'm going to have to wipe it off of the brushes. You really don't want to get it on the brushes but too late. As long as you wipe it off you'll be good. Okay, so that one ought to be good. And we got our front side here. I'm gonna hold my fingers here to make sure that this don't come apart. Let me uh, get that pulled down like so. And I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see what I'm doing. So basically I'm gonna take some of this wheel bearing grease and I'm gonna jam it up in there. And yeah, I know I used a healthy amount. amount. Why? Because I want it to get jammed up in there. That's kind of the whole point. Trying to pack it in there. I'm really trying not to get a whole bunch on the windings there. Just trying to get it in there. All right, that ought to be good. I'm getting it all over. <laughs> so that ought to be good. Let me, uh, I know there's a trash can floating over there, but I can't see it. I think I sure got it. So, and of course, I let that come apart. Oops, got off camera there. I'm just putting that all back together here, just like so. Now, 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 let me set this here. I've got a little bit of toilet paper over here, so I can clean my fingers up a little bit. 
and I have to clean those brushes off a little bit. And I didn't grab me a piece of sandpaper and I don't have one like that would take me a millisecond to get. So let me go get it real quick. All right, yay, that wasn't too bad. Went and uh, got me a little bit of sandpaper here. What am I gonna use sandpaper for? Well, I am gonna clean up. And again, one's the stator, one's the armature. I believe that's the armature. The, uh, where the brushes go on is the armature. This whole thing out here, I believe, is the stator. I should know this, but uh, uh, come on. When's the last time you think I had to actually know the difference between the armature and the stator? Like, never, because I just fix it, yo. I don't give college courses on it. So what I'm going to do... I'm cleaning up the armature, I believe. <laughs> and this is fine sandpaper. It's nothing. I'm not going all crazy on it. And this is just a, a bit of maintenance here. Right? And then uh, I want to make sure that I don't have any oil or grease, I should say, on the brushes. And I'll clean those up in a second. So, now we've came to the moment to where we need our rivets. What I'm going to do, and you could have used nails, paper clip, whatever. Whatever you have. It doesn't have to be rivets. I was sitting there looking around thinking about what I had, and I thought, hmm. So I'm sticking it down in there. Just like so. And then there's another one here. Ah. Of course I knocked the one out of the way. And this is one of those jobs where you're going to struggle. It doesn't matter what you do. You're going to run into struggles. It is the way it goes. So I'm getting these locked in place. And what that's doing. Is that's holding those brushes back out of the way for me. That, that's all that that is doing. Let me pull it up there closer so you can get a better look in there. All I'm doing is holding those brushes back, okay, so that I can slip the, um, the rest back up into place. And what I'm going to do real quick is I'm um, going to make sure my fingers are clean. And I'm going to pull these one at a time while I clean to make sure that sometimes they even on brushes yeah I don't see any sometimes even further back they'll have little holes where you can hold them back so I got that side I wiped it down and put my rivet back I'm gonna flip it here grab it pull my rivet reach underneath and just give it a good wipe to make sure I don't have any grease on the um, on the brush better and I'm going to set that rivet back in place, just like that. And again, that's just to hold those brushes out until I can get this up in position to where I can. And this motor is like really open, so this one's easy to do. Uh, but there's some times to where you'll do motors, and they are not that easy to do. So real quick, I'm going to one more time with a clean piece of toilet paper. Make sure that there's no grease there you don't want grease there do not want grease there so everything else looks to be good to go so I'm gonna simply slide this back up I'm gonna be looking and uh, I'm on camera but I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing as I'm doing but it's a little hard so bear with me so I'm gonna get that started ah. I done kicked one of my <laughs> one of my rivets out and there's a little bit of nasty on it so I do not want to use that um, that one I've got caught I don't see any nasty on this so I'm just gonna take this rivet and I'm gonna shove it up in there and get that brush pushed back out of the way I'm gonna try I've got pressure because I'm trying to hold this side let me ease up my pressure a little bit so I can get back behind that brush or I'll just use my fingernail. 
Ah, there we go. I was trying to show you though, and it's kind of hard to show you, and that one slipped. Okay, well, I've got them in place. All I got to do is push and it to go together. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not yet. We can't. Okay. We got to pull this back off, ladies and gentlemen, because genius here missed putting some pieces in. So, get that off of there. Be nice. Be nice, be nice. Go on there. You go on there. You go on there. Okay, don't forget those things, folks. Because then you got to start all over. And I'm just going to do this the easy way this time. I'm not going to... Because, like I say, it's nice and open. So, see, I've got it started. And if you're used to working on this kind of stuff, this is like nothing. So, I've got it started. I'm going to take my... My rivet here, I'm going to do it to where hopefully you can see it. I'm going to push that brush back into the side of it, the brush holder. Oh, and I had it. Now I'm going to cock that motor to the side. And so, I don't know if you can see it real well, but I've got that motor cocked to the side and I've got that brush held because the motor's cocked to one side. So I'm going to pull it down. And uh, I'm going to get this rivet down in there. Trying to make sure you can see. And I may not be able to do it with a rivet. I'm going to do it with my thumbnail. I'm just going to get it started there. And I popped the other side out when I did it. Sometimes you do that. So just got to mess with it. Again, this is one of those things that experiences everything. I'm close. I am close. Yeah. And that is why it is nice when you have something you can stick up in there that will hold it for you. Oh, I see what was catching me. I got it now. See, it's all in there. All good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our screws here. Put them back into place. And being... Yeah. I hate getting grease all over my tools, but it is what it is. Get that lined up so it starts. A little snug. I'm not going to really crank down on it yet. Get the other side to where it's tightened up and just a little snug. That way we know everything's straight. Okay. Feels pretty good. Let me go ahead and snug these up. Like that. Okay. Wipe my hand. Get this grease here nasty stuff out of the way I'm not a fan of wheel bearing grease at all so that's taken care of so we're gonna go ahead and put this back on and this was our nasty screw we're gonna actually start out with it well we'll put in another one first just so that we're lined up or put in a couple fur before that one. I just want to make sure I'm lined up. Be smarter to be lined up before we struggle with one. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Use this one because I had no problems with it earlier. It just... I'm going to put this one in here so we know we're lined up. Okay, then we'll fight with this one. 
I'm going to go ahead and snug that one. Okay. Good, good. Come over here. Tighten that one. That one. That one. I'm going to place our wires back here into their little keepers. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do, put that little seal back there. And what I'm gonna do, got my gear housing here. And this is gonna take the Vaseline. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip. I'm gonna Try to get me a healthy glob of it. Because it's going to take a fair amount to pack that housing there. There we go. And do the old pack, pack, packaroo. Alright, going to get some more. Want to make sure that that's packed up pretty good. I'm impressed to how well that's held up considering it's plastic but it is a planetary gear system which will hold up a lot better than if it was just a single gear to gear so this holds up a lot better than a single gear okay that should be plenty in there plenty plenty okay and then this goes right back on here and you got to spin it around a little bit till you get it set down. There you go. It's set down in place. And that is going to be these fine screws right here. Fine times, fine times. I'm going to put one each housing or in each corner of the housing I know what I mean there oops I'm a tard that I meant to go here that give me another screw that's what she said put it here fun fun another screw go on and put it here doesn't really matter at this point get them all in this one here Uh-huh. And feels good. Feels good, good. Now, we simply have to mount this back down. Make sure that our little thing's in place there. Little gasket. And then what we're going to do, poke this on down in there. And that switch goes up through there. So I want to make sure, though, that I don't get the wires caught under there and I want to make sure that that gasket is in the right place. And I do believe it is all in the right place. So we're going to take screw here. I'm going to go ahead and put another one in place that way it's there. screwdriver I'll get this one started
I'm not going to even really snug it yet. And the reason why is because I'm going to take another peek in there and make sure that that little gasket's in the right place before I go tightening it down. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, go ahead and give those a snug. Make sure that they're all snug. Place our housing. Got two more screws here. Those are the security type of screws or the tamper resistant screws, whatever you want to call them. Call them MFers if you want to. Sure, people that don't have the proper screwdriver, call them that. I have before in the past. You can bank on that. And my genius self didn't even get a cord up here ready that I can show you this work, but there's one right on the other side of the camera there. I don't think I got one though. No. Oh. Okay, that is snug. That is snug. No extra parts, that's always a good plus. Now what I'm gonna do real quick, and I am gonna take a little bit of Vaseline. Let me grab a, so I can grab it with that. I am gonna take just a little bit of Vaseline. Yeah, I don't want it up there that high. And I'm gonna get it down in there. Well, I didn't want it up that high, that's okay. I'll wipe that off because I have a feeling that's where my noise was coming I don't know if I was on camera when I did that if not I'm sorry all I did was take this and, and put some Vaseline down in there and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna wipe off the excess there like that and, you know, it's not like that's going to last or anything like that or that's going to stay on there, not whatsoever. Um, but I am going to be processing up some hard tack. So, that would be why. So, let me uh, walk over to the other side of the camera here so I can get the cord up there. And hopefully not disconnect lights here. Get moved over there. And the moment we've been waiting for, there's a couple switches, you know, down at the bottom. That's why it won't come on. If you don't have it pressed down, it won't come on. So. Getting that grease, it's 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 um getting that grease put around, that's why it's kind of starting out slow and then slowly speeding up. There we go. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. My dad used to say, good enough for the girls I go with. Anyway, I am out of here. I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. I hope maybe I, I learned you something today. Anyway, I will see you all later. Shalom.